I just thought that we should discuss how to make money with a pickup truck. If you want to have a car that goes beyond offering transport for your family then owning a truck is a no-brainer. Owning a pickup truck has the potential of offsetting all of your car running costs and even more. I know from experience that it has the potential of paying for itself over its useful economic life. Imagine a car earning enough to cover all the repayments and running costs. That should be a dream come true for most car owners. This is especially true in this day and age where the internet has connected us all offering us an opportunity to offer our services to all manner of people. I have a friend who has a different car from a pickup truck that he uses to transport people in his free time. And he told me a few months ago that he is actually making a surplus when he matches his income and all the running costs and repayments. That is extra cash that is easy to make. So it is not a stretch to say that the potential is immense if you reside in a good area. Here are some ways to make money with a pickup truck. Most people will look at these and be convinced but do nothing. There is nothing to be gained in knowing how to make money and still not do anything. Action is what matters. 1. Delivering items on behalf of people in your area. Almost every day there are people who want to move big items such as furniture, electrical items, etc. All these people will be looking for a small pickup truck to move their items. And as you are aware most people don't have pickups as their family vehicle making this an exciting opportunity for anyone owning a pickup. This is probably one of the easiest ways to make money and you can start advertising for your service immediately. One cool place to advertise is Facebook. On Facebook, you have the ability to target certain demographics that meet your target group. For instance, you can target specific age groups, areas, etc. In this way, your advert won't be seen in areas that you are not interested in. Facebook has done a good job of keeping our personal data and they are making a killing out of it. I am not surprised that in the past few years governments have been taking a closer look at companies such as Facebook and their use of our personal data. While the governments are doing their bit you can still take advantage of this access that Facebook has to make a little money. Another one is Google and other search engine ads. In advertising on Google, you can target searches like, want to hire a pickup truck in. One of the geniuses of search engine advertising is the ability to target the right potential customers and not just everybody online. This, therefore, reduces the risk of losing money as your advert is in front of people who already have the intent to hire a truck. This is different from ads on other platforms that are not targeted. In my experience ads targeting a specific area are the cheapest around. Google operates an ad service based on bids and not many people would be targeting the hiring of trucks in a particular locality. If for some ethical reasons or otherwise you don't like Google or Facebook you can advertise your service on various online classified ads. I am here thinking of Craigslist, and others. Another way you can do this is to advertise at your local convenience stores. 2. Uber Eats not being satisfied with just delivering people, Uber is now in the food delivery service through Uber Eats. Uber Eats has partnered with many of the big takeaway restaurants such as McDonald's to offer food delivery services. Fortunately Uber does not run their own vehicles at the moment. They use ordinary you and me to help them do that for some immediate cash. All you need to do is to register with them and in a few weeks if successful you could be using your pickup truck to make some extra cash. If you live in the big cities this could help you make some serious money. I have seen people making one delivery after another on a weekend. There appears to be no shortage of business in the big cities. And since you are paid per delivery this is the dream of any Uber Eats driver. Here is the process of registration. Sign up. Here you add your personal details and select the vehicle you intend to use. The type of vehicles used includes bicycles, motorbikes or scooters, and cars. Submission of documents. After sign up, you are required to upload documents for your vehicle. Documents required include driver's license, bank statements dated within the last three months, certificate of motor insurance covering food delivery or hire and reward. Background check. After you go through the steps above you will be sent an email requesting you to go through a background check. The background check is done by a separate Uber partner. 
so if you have a pickup truck consider registering with Uber Eats and you could be on your way to earning some extra income. 3. Grubhub Grubhub is another large delivery service in the United States that is always looking for people with pickups and other delivery vehicles. In order to be accepted by Grubhub, you need to meet the following requirements. Must be at least 19 years old of age. A car or bike in some selected areas. Valid driver's license and auto insurance. Valid state ID. Android or iPhone smartphone with Android 5.0 or above operating system or iOS 11 or later. If successful they will offer you training on what is required of you and what you will use. Then Grubhub will send you car decals, warming bags, and more from Grubhub or you can use your own. Just like Uber Easts, Grubhub also promises instant cash when you do your delivery. In order to do this, you need to connect your bank account to the Grubhub for Drivers app. 4. Renting out your pickup truck Another way to make money with your truck is by renting it out to people or companies that can use it. There are various companies that are more than willing to rent out a truck. You can also use apps that allow you to connect with people interested in using your truck. I would suggest that if you are someone with another job during the week, then you can rent it out during the week and do your own stuff on weekends. 5. Towing Services if you are not convinced yet about the other ways I have already mentioned then maybe it is time to consider towing services. There are so many people who are looking for someone to tow their vehicles, boats, etc. However, if you want to venture into this business you need a tow cable. On top of that, you need to register with the authorities and you need to insure your vehicle too. Towing is a risky business and never venture into it without adequate insurance to cover any mishaps. In towing anything there is always a risk of damage to the thing you are towing or your own pickup truck. Once you have done this you can start advertising for your service online or on other forms of advertising. I would suggest that you create some business cards that you can spread around in your area. The old way of sharing flyers is also another cool way of letting people in your area know that your business exists. 6. Placing adverts on your truck I think we have all seen buses covered with adverts for movies, and other things. Did you know that anyone can have a chance of placing adverts on their vehicle? There are companies out there who are willing to place adverts on your vehicle for a decent sum of money. One of the companies involved in this kind of advertising is Carvertize. I am told that Carvertize can pay up to $100 a month for the right to advertise on your vehicle. There are actually other campaigns that Carvertize ran that can pay you more. 7. Snow Removal Another service that people rarely talk about is snow removal. Maybe people don't talk about this because it is a seasonal service. Therefore almost no one thinks of snow in summer. But it is a lucrative business if you can manage to find a number of clients. And that is the trick right there. You need to find a reasonable number of clients. The good thing about finding customers is that you have a number of months within which you can find customers before the snow falls. You should however be aware of the fact that to carry out this service you need the right specialized equipment. Once you do then you are ready to go. 8. Transporting scrap metal you collect. One cool business that people rarely talk about is the sale of scrap metal. Companies have been recycling metal for a long time now and they are always short of this. Therefore if you can find a good source of scrap metal you can use your truck to deliver this metal to the recycling companies. One way of getting this scrap is advertising to people in your area asking people to let you collect scrap metal from their homes. There are people who have things like pressing irons, pots that they would like to dispose of. You should therefore take advantage of this and join this lucrative business. Another way you can get scrap metal is to use equipment that enables you to get scrap metal in rivers and lakes. Our rivers are full of all sorts of junk including scrap metal that need to be cleaned out. By doing this service you will not only clean the rivers but will make money while doing it. 9. Move trash from people's homes. One other service that may not be readily available in some areas is the moving of trash. 
people may be stuck with all sorts of trash in their neighborhoods. They will, therefore, be more than willing to pay a small fee to have it removed. This is where your truck can come in. Depending on your area this could be your full-time business. You just need to be aware of the rules regarding trash disposal in your area. In some instances, you may need to apply to relevant authorities for the right to do this service. Then you need to take into account the fees you will be required to pay in disposing of the trash. Once you know these fees you can factor them in the fees you charge people to remove their trash. 10. Use the pickup in your flea market business. If I had a pickup I would seriously consider being a flea market vendor. This is because with a pickup I could easily transport items to and from a flea market. There are various ways you can make money at the flea market. You can sell all sorts of pre-used items that you can get in your home and also buying from others. And once you have a pickup, it is very easy to buy and transport items from other people and other markets. Once you have your own truck you can easily patronize markets that are far away from your home. This is all I have on the many ways you can use your pickup truck to make money or in some cases earning a full-time income. All you need now is to analyze all the ways that we have discussed here and then make up your mind on what you feel comfortable doing. There is nothing as boring as doing something you don't enjoy doing. So pick something that you can enjoy doing and smile your way to the bank.